Rejoice, ladies and gents. David Gordon Green is not going to destroy our eyeballs and ear holes with another Exorcist movie. That's right. The director of Exorcist Believer, which was uh, so bad. I hated it so very much. It was such a god-awful film. If anyone enjoyed that film, you're wrong. It's terrible. Uh, indefinitely delayed the sequel. And the director, David Gordon Green, is gone. Good. This is the same chap that, that somehow conned his way into the Halloween franchise. Directed three Halloween movies. One was just a remake. Quite literally shot shot for shot of the original. Cool. Like, uh, like actual shots were identical to the original. Uh, and then they went drastically down in quality. Not even that the first one was particularly great. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy about this. This is great news. Some good news for a change, ladies and gents. Some good news. Exorcist Deceiver. Delayed indefinitely because David Gordon Green has departed the horror sequel. Now, I'm gonna, I'm just going to go on a limb and say he was probably fired. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go on a limb and say he was probably fired. Um, and go on a limb and say they're not interested in making another one anyway. Because remember, this is this is uh, Blumhouse and Universal. And they paid, off the top of my head, I think it was half a billion dollars for the rights. I th I'm pretty certain it was like $500 million just for the rights. Something absolutely obscene. Or 250 and then the film was 250 It's an obscene amount of money. Like, genuinely obscene amount of cash. And, and it bombed. Spectacularly bombed. So, yeah, no, I... I don't think it's a case of that. I think it's a case of, yeah, he was fired spectacularly. It was actually $400 million, so I was close. They paid $400 million for the rights. What are you doing, you lunatics? Why did you do that? Why would you possibly think that was a good idea? $400 million just for the rights. Even if you're playing the long game, that ain't it, chief. That ain't it. So anyway, let's take a look, right? Uh, multiple reports are coming in that Exorcist Believer director David Gordon Green has parted ways with Universal and Blumhouse's planned sequel, The Exorcist Deceiver, which has now been taken off the studio's release schedule altogether. Well, what a bloody surprise. And every horror fan around the world rejoices because Exorcist Believer was dog shit. So the horror sequel hasn't shown a... Cr Hasn't been shown across and is still expected to see the light of day down the line. I doubt it. It's been taken off the release schedule altogether. The director has left. The first one, spectacular loss. And they somehow still think another one's going to be down the line? No. not They're not going to do a sequel to a movie that people didn't like. I mean, they might do. So I'm not going to say absolutely, but it's unlikely. The highest potential chance is they're going to just do another standalone. Uh, Anton Fuqua's Michael Jackson biopic's been moved up to next year. So Green is said to have stepped away from the movie to focus on his production of Nutcrackers, starring Ben Stiller. <laughs> as well as season four of HBO's The Righteous Gemstones. Look. That might be the case, but it's heavily unlikely. It is heavily unlikely. Heavily unlikely. And they outline some of the reasons here, right? So, uh, I mean, the movie was dog shit. 22% Rotten Tomatoes. But just, it, it, no one liked it. Managed to cross, only just managed to cross $100 million at the worldwide box office. The thing is, right, and, I, and I'm not going to sit, I'm not defending Universal. Because they, they never should have brought the rights for $400 million to begin with. You, you are never going to make money on this because you paid $400 million for the rights. You are never going to make money, ever. Never, ever, ever. If you made them, if you, if you bought the rights for like, I don't know, $8 million and then directed a movie for the budget of this movie, which was $30 million, which is the reported budget, it's probably more than that. Right? And it, might, it might be 30 million, but whatever. You, you buy it for like 8 to 10 million dollars. You make the movie for 30 million dollars. 
that's that's your profit bracket that's your margin that's that's a viable option whoever thought it was a good idea to spend 400 million dollars of the rights i sincerely hope they got fired because that is an astronomically dumb decision you lost universal and peacock uh somewhere in the region well of 30 million dollars crossed 100 million would have made some money. You've still you're still down over three hundred million dollars. What? Come on! What on earth did you think was going to happen with this? <sighs> but this oh, dog shit article. This may not seem like a particularly big win, but Believer had a reported budget of thirty million dollars, excluding marketing costs. So this was a pretty solid result for Blumhouse and Universal. No, it wasn't. They did pay 400 million for the rights. Yeah, exactly. But that price tag was an all-in IP purchase, which includes at least two more sequels. No. So so yes and no. Apparently, from what I can find out, they bought the rights to make three movies. So they bought the rights to the IP to make three movies. That's your limit, three movies. Yeah, there's like we can add it to Halloween Horror Nights theme parks. But that that's basically it. There's not much there. Absolutely ridiculous. And then you had Five Nights at Freddy's come out and obliterate it. I mean, what what like upside down clown world are we living in? When Five Nights at Freddy's beats Exorcist. You truly know you're dealing with utter incompetence at studio level. When f and I'm not denigrating Five Nights at Freddy's. Good fine sure no issue but that beats the storied franchise like renowned as the most scariest film of all time the exorcist holy shit so a third movie to complete the legacy trilogy was also in the works prior to believers release but we wouldn't be surprised if plans have been scrapped all the plans have been scrapped mate it's all gone it's done this was a terrible movie. And they're never making more. But they will make more. Just, of course they will, because they've got the right. So they're definitely going to make more. But it's a terrible decision. You shouldn't have bought it for $400 million. You're an idiot. $400, $400 million! Oh my god. $400 million. Just to buy the rights to three movies. Not even to make the three movies astronomically stupid but so funny and thank god david gordon green is off of horror he is awful he's terrible at horror oh yeah because halloween was so good shut up